That's where customer service starts. Because if you're not serving your customer, you're not serving your prospect. If you're not serving your prospect, that prospect will never be a customer. And then good customer service, in my opinion, also means showing the customer in writing upfront what your options are and giving you upfront flat rate pricing. So you know exactly what it is you can expect and you can choose what level of service you want. Hey guys, Ralphie Konsker here at Preferred Plumbing Solutions and how are y'all doing today? So, customer service. What does customer service really mean? What does it mean to serve your client? And when does this customer service process start? When does the serve start? When does serving end? How does this work? What does this really mean? Every So many companies just shoot out these words like, oh, customer service, you gotta be great at customer service. You know, the customer's always right, or you gotta make sure to service your client. Well, what does that really mean? When does it start? So customer service starts before you even meet your client. Customer service starts with a proper branding and marketing platform. It starts by creating the awareness around your brand, around your company, so that people already know, hey, I know what this company's about. Like your company needs to tell a story, right? So for us, for example, our story is simple. We're transparent, we're extremely professional, we're upfront, and you can clearly look on our reviews on Google, on Homestars, you know, you can on Facebook, anywhere and see our reviews and you'll clearly see what customers say about us. It's all in line with the brand we've built, the name that you've come to recognize. You look on our website, you get a feel of what's going on. If you ever had us at your home, you'll get that same sensation too. So that is customer service. The customer service part is, okay, these people will make me feel comfortable. I trust these people. I trust this organization. That's where customer service starts. Because if you're not serving your customer, you're not serving your prospect. If you're not serving your prospect, that prospect will never be a customer. All right, and then the way the phone is answered in our office, the way our customer service rep talks to you and explains to you and treats you like a human being with respect. He's cordial, he's kind, he's patient. He'll ask you questions to better understand what's going on for you so you can, we can best support you and send the right technician to your home. And then when we show up, we're constantly trying and putting a huge amount of effort into figuring out how it is we're gonna serve you today. How are we gonna find out what your needs are, what your wants, what your desires are? Are we gonna provide you with some other beneficial equipment? Are we gonna perhaps give you a, an option for an upgrade versus just the repair? Are we gonna to explain to you what may happen now, but what may also happen six months from now or a year from now? Are we gonna provide you solutions that can potentially remove an urgent situation from arising to begin with? This is all part of customer service. Of course, it's the way we communicate. It's the way we look, our, our, our actual, uh, the, way, the way we stand, the way you see us, our tonality, our facial expressions. Are we coming in with a stressful environment? Are we coming to a calm environment? Are we asking you questions? Are we making sure we understand what it is you need? And then we're gonna go ahead and constantly keep you in the loop, keep you aware of what's going on and make sure we share everything with you. And then good customer service, in my opinion, also means showing the customer in writing upfront what your options are and giving you upfront flat rate pricing so you know exactly what it is you can expect and you can choose what level of service you want. And again, the customer service part of the job never ends. Even when the job is done, even when you've invoiced and collected payment, we're gonna follow up with you. You'll get a phone call, perhaps even a selfie video, an email, a text, you will be followed up with because we wanna make sure that you have been taken care of. We wanna also see if there's anything we could have improved on. We also want you to know that we are always here to provide service to you. How can we be of service to you? That's our job and we wanna do that. And we're happy and we pride ourselves with that. And just remember, you should enjoy having a home service professional at your home. It shouldn't be a frustrating experience. It should be an enjoyable experience. It should be the opposite. It should remove frustration. It should remove emotional distress. It should remove chaos. And we should be able to restore your home back to a calm, peaceful state. That is our job. Rafi Konsker, Preferred Plumbing Solutions. Give us a call, guys. We love being there for you. We want to serve our community. God bless you guys. Peace out.